Hello Flight Summers, hello Captains, welcome back once again we are in P3D and um, yeah we are flying another long haul today which is in the beautiful PMDG 777-200ER which is uh, yeah really a fantastic aircraft um, for those of you who do not have it I would even say that this is the best long haul aircraft we have in P3D it is uh, yeah at least the one I I love to fly the most and after our recent 747 flight um, it feels about right to just do another long haul this time in the 777 and um, yeah today it's uh, it's quite a serious long haul um, flight time close to 11 hours we are flying across the Atlantic from San Francisco over to Munich and uh, this is a daily service uh, which is operated by United and I think also Lufthansa is operating a daily service, but uh, using the A350, which of, yeah, unfortunately we don't have, uh, neither for Microsoft Flight Sim nor for P3D. So um, aircraft of choice is the 777. And um, yeah, also featuring the new United colors, the Evo Blue, as it is called. Um, also looks quite stunning. And um, this time, sorry about the jetway, this time I will try to remember to link uh, the livery down below. This is uh, the one from INI Builds or INI Builds, however you want to call it. Um, they have a really fantastic uh, livery pack for the 777s, um, also updating some of the uh, some of the base colors. It's uh, yeah, it's really, really great. Uh, so you can see GSX is boarding the aircraft. Um, I would say without further ado, or let's maybe have a very quick, quick look around it's always fun to see uh, what's around you can see autumn is kicking in, in now all the uh, leaves are colored we are sitting here on the international gates at San Francisco um, Air New Zealand 777 some United Dreamliners on the other side but other than that yeah nothing too crazy uh, in terms of traffic we are flying offline today so you are seeing the AIG AI traffic here at the moment and um, yeah I would say now let's get to it all right here we are in the flight deck uh, let's get started with with the uh, FMC setup um, I've just loaded in the route uh, so that's coming in six pages of route which is of course quite a bit uh, crossing the Atlantic um, performance um, Let's see, zero fluid, three eighty-seven point four. Yeah, that's um, our load. We have a load level of approximately sixty percent only. Um, although we are uh, we are carrying quite a lot. I have two hundred twenty-nine, uh, sorry, two hundred ninety-one passengers on board, and then an additional twenty-three thousand pounds of cargo. So it's quite a bit. Um, but since the 777 is just capable of uh, crazy payloads, um, yeah, it only comes down to around 60%. But um, yeah, anyhow, that's fine for us. Uh, then we are cruise level 350. That's fine, of course, flying eastbound. We want to have an odd level, which we have. Cost index 85. Sim brief is giving me 160. Uh, we have accepted first. 160. Let's see if this even works. Simprev always comes up with he very high cost index, but um, I mean it's fine, of course. And alternate will be um, around 12,000 pounds of reserves, like this. Um, that's all looking good now for the departure. Uh, naturally, 28 left. Uh, in fact, let's have a very quick look at the weather. Make sure that this works for us. So wind uh, 7 knots 240, yeah, so 28 left is quite perfect. Uh, visibility is fine, few clouds 1417 degrees, 2997. Okay, so a bit cloudy, but otherwise um, it's uh, weather is just fine. Now for the departure, I have also loaded in the charts, and we will find the fly the truck in 2R enough departure. I think it will be the dead transition but I need to double check anyhow um, departure is as such we will climb to or climb on runway heading 284 to 520 feet which is very low uh, maximum 210 knots then we are in a nice right hand turn uh, over to Trucken 
and then on to the transition. Let's see. 2.8 left, clamp heading 2.8.4 to 5.20 and at or below 2.10 knots. Then right hand turn direct through and top altitude flight level 190. Yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> That's a um, very low turn considering we're flying heavy aircraft. I'm not quite sure if they actually use this departure for the heavies. Kind of seems very low to do this turn, uh, but since it does sound to be quite fun. Uh, we will actually fly it as such. So, Truken. And uh, now I need to check my route. Yeah, that's the dead transition. Dead, dead, whatever you call it. Alright. Yeah, arrival we can do later on, of course. Uh, let's get some uh, wind data. Execute progress 22.3 up on arrival. That's plenty. And uh, right, then we shall do some calculations. In the meantime, I will fire up the APU. And all the boarding is completed. So, to get rid of all this beeping, I will close all. And uh, then let's see, we have a uh, EFB, of course. So, we can do some performance calculations. To right left, conditions are dry. Once again, wind. Let's see, 240 at 7. Um, temperature 17 to 997. Thrust rate and takeoff. Flaps optimum. Aircon packs auto. Anti ice auto as well. Takeoff weight 563.9. Yeah, that's slightly above from what Simbrief is giving us, but so we are on the conservative side, which is uh, fine. Let's calculate. See what we got. Flap 5. Um, select temperature 45. 148, 157, 62. Let's just, uh, out of curiosity, I just want to see what it's like with flap 15. Ah, it requires much more power. Okay, so actually flip 5 is uh, is better for us. Uh, so let's go with uh, flip 5 then. Uh, select temperature 45. 98.5, 98.2, yes, that's okay, that's due to the APU, I think. Take off flip 5. 26 and then we got speeds of 148 57 62 48 57 62 162 okay so 162 coming in here um 284 19 flight directors lnf VNAV. Righty, I would say that's uh, the pre flight completed. And then let's see up here packs. Let's get some air into the cabin. Fuel pumps, um, yeah, most likely there's something in the center tank on an 11 hour flight. Uh, beacons, seat belts, we can. Yeah, let's check from the outside if we are all ready to go. Yeah, looks like uh, boarding is uh, completed. So let's try to get rid of the jetways. Like that. And also I need to run some checklists. Pre-flight. Oxygen. Tested 100%, flight instruments uh, 13, 13, 2997. Um, two times, three times. I'm just wondering why this is not working yet. Hmm, maybe I forgot something. Let's see if this is coming uh, online in a second. And then park break. brake. 
Okay, um, so we have the APU running, which is good. So primary external power comes off. Um, hydraulics first, the right one. And all the others. Uh, beacons are on. This is all looking good on the overhead. Let's go uh, transponder 1000. I think in the US they use TARA a lot for taxing, if I'm not mistaken. Arm all the doors, return ground services, remove everything. And um, okay, let's do the pushback. Before start checklist, flight tech door, close and locks. Uh, MCP is set V2162 heading 284 altitude flight level 190 takeoff speeds are completed as well 148 57 62 CD proof that is completed trim is um, zero units taxi and takeoff briefing yeah taxi we will talk about in a second so that's fine before start check is completed now I'm still wondering why um, the standby instrument is not working that's a bit weird uh, to be honest of course this is uh, kind of a major issue when going on a transatlantic flight but um, I don't think I'm gonna worry about it since we are in a sim environment. But it's a bit strange. I've never seen this before in the triple seven, so I wonder if I uh, maybe just forgot something or, or what's happening here. I have no idea. Okay. Anyhow, um, block time. Parking brake. Parking brake. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. We are good to fire up. Nice. Uh, let's come back to this few in a second. So just uh, firing up engine number two, auto start, and let's watch this. Okay, that's a good engine start. Firing up engine number one. Left is clear. Right is clear. Okay, something is happening. Uh, just press the reset button and now. Ah, okay. Well, that was an easy fix. I could have thought about that one earlier. Okay, I think we have two good engine starts, and uh, that's very good. APU is coming off, anti ice not required. Trim 5.75, so we need to trim it up a bit. Like this, flaps 5. RTO, um, flight control check. Full left, full right, neutral, full up, full down, neutral, rudder, full right, full left. 
Okay. Um, before it checks the checklist. Anti ice not required, recall. Checked. Flag controls checked. Ground equipment clear. And then I guess we have the before takeoff checklist as well. Flaps are set to position 5. Good. Taxi internal lights. And then we are good to go. Um, now we have looked at the taxi chart, have we? But it's quite straightforward here in San Francisco, luckily. So we are all the way down here at uh, the Gulf. So we will taxi out on Bravo for a bit. And then we need to cross over. So anywhere between Bravo 5 and Bravo 1, we need to make a right hand onto Alpha, uh, which is typically used for taxiing out. And then from Alpha all the way down, continue on Foxtrot crossing the runways. And then Foxtrot uh, all the way back to runway 28 left. Good. So let's do it. Alright, we are coming up to 28 left, uh, just another United 777 uh, lining up in front of us, so uh, we have a few seconds to spare. Uh, but we are pretty much in takeoff mode. A transponder is set, I have the weather on my side and traffic switched on. We have the before takeoff, or the takeoff checklist completed. Um, approach is free now, which is good as well. Um, so we are pretty much ready to rock and roll. Just need to wait for the 777 to clear the runway. But if it starts rolling now, then I don't have to hold short, which would be kind of cool. Uh. Approaching two, eight, left. For some reason it is holding. Ah, there was a departure on the 01. Now it's speeding up. I guess this traffic's not gonna wait. Oh, hurry up, little guy. <laughs> hurry up, there's the 777 coming. Yeah. <laughs> That's AI, AI traffic. Uh, can't really do much about it. I'm looking forward to this departure now. That should be really fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to do some hand flying as well. Let's see how long I can keep it up before on switching on the autopilot. Two, eight, We're lined up. Okay, let's see. I don't want to, n to run into any other traffic. Um, so there's a heavy coming out, uh, likely taxing our way. Um, there's someone lining up on the zero ones. Where is it? No, where is it going? Okay, it's taking some weird turns. Um, so let's get going. I think I don't see any other traffic in our way, so let's do it. Landing lights, um, strobes, lights are all set. So uh, let's do it. Let's listen to this really cool engine sound. And take off. Quick look outside. Oh, it's a fantastic sound. Already leaving the center line. Leg spike. We want. It's not a long takeoff roll. Rotate. Why? I don't have any callouts for any reason. K 
Okay, we're airborne. Gears coming up. Oh, that's cool. Good stuff. Looking fantastic from the outside. But let's focus on the flying. Um, we are above 560, so let's go into the right and turn. That's cool, that's a nice bit of hand flying here. Ooh, coming into the clouds already. Climb power, Ooh, that's a little bit a little bit hard on the turn. Okay, speed constraint for the turn was 210, so I don't want to accelerate above that as long as we're turning. I guess in reality with ATC we could expect a direct to the first waypoint, but uh, just for the fun of this departure route, in flight at full. Okay, you're really good. Turn completed. Let's accelerate flaps one, speeds check flap one. And okay, let's switch on the autopilot. Speed control to 30. Is this really the case, or um, no, 250? Okay, so we can go flaps up. are climbing. Let's go ahead and switch off some of the lights, uh, no lights as well. And we are already at the uh, top of the clouds as it looks like. Cool, looking really nice. Alrighty, so after takeoff checklist should be all set, it is. So, here we are, cruising. Or not cruising, at climbing, but uh, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed the 777 departure out of San Francisco. And then, uh, yeah, enjoy music in cruise mode for the next uh, 10 hours. <laughs> Don't worry for you, it's not going to be 10 hours, just a few minutes. Um, but yeah, then uh, I will meet you for the departure, uh, sorry, for the arrival in two Enjoy!
hello folks, welcome back. Uh, after 10 hours and 45 minutes into the air, we are now pretty close to our destination, which is Munich Airport. And um, yeah, just uh, passing flight level 130, uh, we are descending all the way down to uh, 5000 feet. I'm already uh, on local altimeters, which is 1021, although this yeah, might, might be a tiny bit early. But anyhow, um, rather be early than late and uh, yeah so the deal is um, we are technically flying the Landu transition uh, coming from Landu then flying the full transition all the way out here and then turning final and we will be landing on runway 08 left I, I've given myself a bit of a direct here to the last waypoint of the transition um, and then we just need to take a manual or vectored left hand turn to get to Magat or somewhere on the uh, center line uh, towards uh, the runway. Now I believe we are touch high. Yeah we could deal, deal with a bit lower altitude as well so let's try to put, put out a little bit of a speed brake and uh, accelerate uh, this descent a little bit. Uh, as you can see, Magat is all over there. We are already kind of in this situation where we could turn left, um, providing uh, that the altitude uh, is going to work out, but I think we will do just fine. Passing 10,000, so landing lights are coming on. Now I need to slow down. And uh, yeah, let's see what AI traffic is doing. Um, they might come in and uh, make our approach a bit more difficult. Also, we are now fairly light. Um, not so much fuel on board after all. So, uh, it will be a flap 25 landing. Uh, one th uh, 35 plus 5 makes it 140. Auto brake 2. So, it's actually going to be a nice and slow approach. And once we are down on the ground... Um, we will exit somewhere... Uh, probably not Alpha 5, that's a bit early, but maybe Alpha 8, Alpha 10 maybe, and then park up somewhere on Terminal uh, 2. That's where the Starlines intercons are being parked most of the time. Right, so now I just need to figure out, there's one aircraft coming in, but it might also go to 08 right, which is a little hard to tell from here. Um, let's get rid of the speed brake now. I think we will just manage fine without it. This is coming to arm. We can complete the approach checklist. Altimeters are set like that. And uh, okay, let's go heading based. And let's turn south. A uh, little bit more than south, so 170. Yeah, and once we know where, the, where this guy is going, we can um, aim for uh, for a more direct approach. You know, we actually kind of low, so I sort of overdid it a bit with the uh, with the speed brake there. But yeah, other than that, weather is uh, quite nice, as you can see. So, we have winds at uh, 3 knots from 0 9 0, um, clear skies, uh, 16 degrees, 1 0 2 1. Becoming fog, actually, that's quite interesting, but... Uh, it doesn't say when that's happening, but uh, for now it looks good. Yeah, so might be becoming fog, but um, I hope we are down before this happens. Okay, let's go direct Magat. Back to Elnav. Ah, it's overshooting a bit. I don't really like this. Can you give me a more direct way, my friend? No, apparently not. Okay. This might be a busy, busy arrival. I don't know. 
Maybe let's slow down a bit more. It's quite a lot of traffic, but it seems like there's one guy on 08 right, one on 08 left, and there's one over here, which I have no idea what he's up to. Aircraft is kind of doing a terrible job on the LNAV profile. So this might be a close call. Let's level out um, 5,500. Speed 210 is just fine with flaps up. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, <laughs> managing the AI traffic is the hardest part of the uh, job just now. We are 20 miles out. Still a bit of distance to cover. Maybe let's go flap 1 and then we can uh, slow down even a bit more. So, speed checked, flips 1. And this allows us to go speed 190. Okay, so I cleared out a bit of AI traffic, that was just uh, too much in order to do good landing. Now I'm a bit high, there was uh, some bad management uh, on the approach now, so... Let's try to, <laughs> to drop down a bit. Uh, let's go flap 15 even. Now we should be able to lose some altitude. Um, one aircraft ahead of us. Also looks like a heavy one, although it's hard to tell what exactly it is. Um, gear down. Yes, gear down. Still uh, eight miles out, but uh, I kind of need uh, that track. Flaps 20. 2500. And flips 25. Okay, let's go final approach speed, um, 140. Landing checklist, all green, let's complete it. I will do some manual flight, see if I can recover from being too high, but um, uh, we are way too high. Maybe I need to go for a, a second approach here. Yeah, so this is really not standard. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. Too high, too high. Yeah, I know I'm too high. Okay, go around. Um, I would assume it's uh, 5,000. Approaching. Zero. Eight. Left. Okay, one red. Finally, that's okay. One aircraft coming in uh, for takeoff. Hopefully, it's uh, not moving.
leaving on the runway miles. too early. Okay, Minimums. continue. 100. 50. 30. 20. 10. And touchdown. Reverse. Oh, there was also United landing in front of us. Okay, diesel. Very easy brake action here. Okay, <laughs> I guess, I guess we've made it. Uh, really, not the best approach I ever did. That's for sure. But uh, the landing was okay. Okay, vacating on Alpha 10. Let's clean up a bit. Okay, flight time 10 hours 58. Uh, quite a long flight. Auto brake off, TA, landing lights, uh, taxi and turn off lights, strobe lights are coming off. Alright, now we just need to make it to the gate and uh, then we have completed our journey across the Atlantic. Okay, we will take just the first one to the right, which is uh, stand 201. Let's switch off some lights. And then let's see. Marshaller is on the stand already. Yeah, uh, that turn was okay. I have had worse. And um, yeah, it looks looks okay. Let's trust uh, GSX on this one. Maybe it will just put us on a uh, good spot for once. Right here, okay. Pack brake. APU is running. Killing the engines. And uh, fuel pumps. Seat belts. Hydraulics. And beacons. Uh, window heats. Anything else? Uh, no, I think it's okay. That's okay, so let's make sure we got some ground connections uh, this comes to standby 2000 then we have the primary and secondary external power and uh, yeah I think that's it checklist shut on checklist parking brake is on and that's fine shut on checklist is completed And unfortunately, jetways are not working here. It's really annoying. Sometimes GSX uh, just drives me mad a bit. But anyhow, welcome again to Munich, everyone. I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed 
this triple seven two hundred flight. Um, yeah, as I've mentioned in the beginning, uh, really one of the best, maybe the best long haul aircraft we have in P three D. So um, it's always really really cool to fly this aircraft. Although I'm of course uh, still very much looking forward to get a proper long haul in Microsoft Flight Sim. This will just be a game changer in my opinion. But um, as long as this is not the case, I'm enjoying my P3D long haul aircrafts. And um, yeah, especially this one in the United Colors kind of looks really cool in my opinion. Sorry again for the uh, little bit messed up uh, approach there. Um, that was not really, really well done. Um, but anyhow, I hope you guys have enjoyed this flight. And um, yeah, next up, if I stick to my planned release schedule uh, next up you will see the uh, cross the pond video so let's hope um, this one comes in good so uh, yeah take care see you next time bye bye